Hey guys, this is Mark. In this video, I will demonstrate how to save database objects that include location information as one of the properties. The object will be saved in the table called World Cities. I imported some sample data. As you can see, the schema for this table, let me switch to the schema uh, section. It contains the city information, country, there is population, and there is a location property. Uh, the data type for that is point. So what we will be doing with UI Builder and Codeless Logic, I must add, we'll be creating a new entry in this table. And the key element of this video is how to specify location information that will be attached, that will really become a property of that saved object. Let me switch to the UI Builder. Here I have a blank page. And what we will do is we'll just populate it with some input fields so we can save information about that city. For this, I will need input for the city name. And let's just start adding labels, city name, and also change the ID, city, name, input. The next one will be country. And the ID is country input. There is also going to be a field for population. change the label to population and change the ID accordingly. The population will take numeric types, so we will change the type to number. Finally, there will be two more fields for latitude and longitude. So let's add inputs for each and change the labels. Latitude Let's do it lat input and longitude. And that's going to be long input. Okay, so now we have everything in place. For the latitude and longitude, we also need to change the type to be number. So now all the fields are in place. Let's also add a button that will be saving data in the database. So change the label to save city and the ID save city button. The idea will be that for all the fields, there will be data binding. So the values as they're entered will go into page data. And then the save city will pull all the data that is sitting in page data through data binding and then will create a record in the database. So let's set up data binding for city the value will be city name for country it will be country name I'll just do country for population the data binding will be population and these are just the properties that will be in page data finally for latitude and longitude let's set it to lat for latitude and lon for the longitude so now everything is in place click the button and let's go to the logic for the button we will add the on click event and in here the first thing that we're doing is we are saving object in backendless the table name is world cities and then let's create the object that will be stored in a database. The properties for this object are city, country, and these are, by the way, the names of the columns in the world city uh, table. Population. Now for the location information for the latitude and longitude, we do have a column called location which is uh, of the type point. And that's going to be the, the thing that we need to keep in mind. All right, so for city, country, and population, we will get data through data binding from page data. And these can be replicated for the first three. Here we have the property city name, country, oops, country, 
population. For the location information, it has to be a special type. We cannot just extract latitude and longitude and then pass it in. We need to create the actual point and then the point object that is. And then if you go into the geolocation API section, you'll see there is a block called create geo point. Connect that to location. And now we can extract latitude and longitude from page data. And then put it into point. Notice that the first one is the longitude and the second one is latitude. So it's very important that you get the right uh, property and put it into the right parameter. That's all it's going to take to save this object. And uh, now we can just start testing this functionality. By the way, if you are working through backendless missions and are working on a mission to save object in the database with location, this is exactly the uh, page that will allow you to complete this task. However, it's going to be very important to specify the values exactly as they are listed in the instructions for this task. So let's run this page and put the information exactly as it is described in the task. We're, we'll be creating a city of Plano, which is in Texas. The country is United States. The population is going to be 286143. Latitude is 33.019844. Make sure that the point is in there. Minus 96 for the length for the longitude. 0.698883. So now click Save City. There is no visual feedback. However, if you go to the database, switch to backend, and in World Cities, you can search for city equals Plano, just like this. Well, by default, you will be getting all the cities. So you can just do the search city equals Plano. This is the city, click visualize, and there you go. We have in Texas, our new location in that table. And by the way, Plano is just north of Dallas, as you can see right here on the map. So this is it, uh, very straightforward. The key thing is to use the point block that to create the point object. But uh, that's all it's going to take to save data objects with location information. I do hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching this video. And as always, happy codeless coding.